Hello and welcome to our newest video uh, that we are describing a little bit of turbocharger diagnosis on a 2012 Audi Q5 with a two liter turbo. And I just wanna show you once we have the old turbo removed, why and how we diagnosed a faulty turbocharger. So the vehicle comes in with a engine check engine light with fault code P0299. That is uh, under a turbocharger under boost condition. So when I'm watching the scan tool data, I am noticing the specified boost pressures are at a certain level uh, and the actual boost pressures are much lower. So the, the engine is not producing the boost levels that are necessary. So it, therefore it checks or uh, sets the check engine light. Old turbocharger removed. This is a new tur turbocharger going back on the car. All right, so what we've uh, noticed here is when this, when this is something that I may have missed. Um, when this engine or when this turbocharger was bolted up and installed on the engine, I was looking because there's a technical service bulletin for this lever uh, being worn out and excessively worn. Well, you can't see it without uh, maybe a mirror and a flashlight, or, but I was using a borescope camera. So I run my borescope camera back here. I'm actuating this rod at the same time, of course, with all this mounted. Didn't see any play, couldn't make anything out that was leading me to believe that this was excessively worn. Well, the vehicle's still setting this 299 code, so I removed the turbocharger, and this is what I found. So you can see here up close, this is the lever for the wastegate right here. All right, so your exhaust pressures are going in, and they're turning this little wheel way back here. That's your turbine wheel, or, right? So it's turning that wheel, uh, which is creating the compressed air on this end for your uh, boost pressures. Well, when this opens, this valve here, when it opens, it allows exhaust gases to bypass the turbine and come straight out here, which reduces the compression on this end. So when this rod actuates, it allows exhaust gases to bypass the turbine and go out the muffler, go out the exhaust. Well, when trying to create boost pressure, this should be closed and it should be tight at all times when trying to create boost pressure or under acceleration conditions. So as it sits now, it should be, in theory, when it was on the car, it should be building boost pressures, but you can see how loose this wheel is, right? This, this um, I don't know if I'd call it a flap, but this wheel that's supposed to seal off and not allow air to bypass. Well, when there's pressure here, I assure you there's air seeping out. It's not even tight. There's a lot of play in it. There's a lot of slack up here, on here, and you can see this moving as well. Right, so I'm opening it. Still just very loose, very sloppy, allowing a lot of pressure to go by our air to escape and not actually build pressure. So mechanically it's failed. It's just a lot of worn parts. Let me show you the new one. So the new one, as you can see, has got a lot better uh, connection here at the wastegate to the wastegate rod. Um, it's a much smoother operation and it closes. I can still spin this if I put a lot of pressure on it. I can still spin it in a circular motion, but I can't move it laterally. I can't move it up or down, in or out. There's no movement on the pivot rod here. It's very tight and secure, all right? So when it seats, it's still very tight, no slack. As you can see this one, it operates, but there's still just gobs of slack here and all that excessive movement causing this fault code. So ultimately what I've learned is probably the best way to properly diagnose this as a failure, in my opinion, is to just get some approval time from our clients to go ahead and remove the catalytic converter because it mounts up right here. So if we can get approval to remove the catalytic converter, move that exhaust out of the way, this is very accessible. It's very easy to see at that point and we can make a super confirmed diagnosis and the downside is we may have to put it back together and bring it back in for the repair. But anyway, I hope this has helped. Two liter Audi, uh, P0299 fault code, um, under boost condition. Thank you for watching another pad video.